guys, welcome to Psalm 93. This is going to be our doodle sheet for this week. And this is our margin sketch that goes right in the margin so you don't have to cover up the words. This is it and completed. And this is the printable that is available this week for a dollar if you're a member of the Facebook group. That's the printable put in my interleaved Bible, completed and done. So, okay, without further ado, we are going to get going. Um, I want to tell you, you know, my neck is still oh, just terrible. Uh, now they're talking about that there's soft tissue damage. So, um, I'm just trying to adapt and sort of make a new normal. So I know my videos are not the best to see right now. If you could just hang with me and be patient. Um, I'm trying to get my camera rigging right so that it shows you guys the best I can, but still does not strain my neck to look down at my desk. So I am using my new easel here, but the easel and the camera are not getting along so great today. So I, I'm still figuring it out. So I'm sorry, please bear with me as I get it, um, as I get it right and try to get myself into a healthy posture and a healthy working environment for this neck of mine. Um, okay, so Psalm 93. I saw a lot of, um, I always kind of go out and I kind of look and see what everybody else is doing for a Psalm and just sort of that's that's where I start. Well, first I read the my prep. So first I read through the scripture and see what gets me. I go out and I kind of look and see what, what folks are doing. And um, then I just start that research process of digging into the word and digging into what his revelation is for it. So that I've got sort of a baseline picture in my head and then I'm waiting for him to give me what he wants to do with it. So there's a lot of pictures out there on this psalm with this, you know, the wave. So I don't want to, like, he's such a fresh God. He's such a new God that, um, he's such a, he's such a, um, unique God in that he gives each one of us a different message. I don't have to go and like use what other people are using because if I approach him and I approach him in conversation, it's going to be a fresh conversation. It's going to be a new conversation between he and I, and he's going to reveal things to my heart that are different than he might've revealed to, to another's heart. So I've gotten these images today that, oh, I just, I just am so enamored with our God, with what he does and how he, how he speaks to our heart. So um, let me read Psalm 93. It's a short little Psalm. Um, and let me read it from my amplified version. The Lord reigns. He is clothed with majesty. The Lord is robed. He has girded himself with strength and power. The world also is established that it cannot be moved. Your throne is established from old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O oh Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring of their waves. The Lord on high is mightier and more glorious than the noise of many waters. Yes, that the mighty breakers and waves of the sea. Your testimonies are very rare. Holiness apparent in separation from sin. Simple trust and hearty obedience is becoming to your house, O oh Lord, forever. So the thing that got me in the Amplified Version was this ramping up of the waters, this ramping up of, of the, the psalmist speaking here. The floods have lifted up. Like imagine the panic. The floods have lifted up, O oh Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up the roaring of their waves. I almost imagine like this word truly here means flood. It means the river like the sea, the Nile, you know? So the first one is that the, the, the river's rising. Oh Lord, do you see that? The river's rising. Lord, do you see the the environment of what I'm working in here? Do you see that things are getting bad, Lord? Oh Lord, do you see this? Lord, the river's rising. And then the next one is that the li they've lifted up their voice. The, this this problem, this 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 threat is now speaking into your heart. It's it's now it's now attacking your mindset and your head and the way you think. And Lord, do you hear that? Do you hear what's happening, Lord? Do you hear that? The, 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 they're speaking, Lord. And then the third one is the roaring of the waves. The roaring that 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 
that thought, that process has now become a, a yell within you. And now there's waves, there's a physical manifestation of this river rising and it's, and it's got arms and it's got legs and it's got weight. And that's what I think happens when we are in a, in a problem or in a situation or a circumstance that can start with like, oh, I see that. And then the river rises and then the river starts to, starts to speak and then the river starts to take on a life of its own. The problem starts to take on a life of its own with long reaching implications through the waves. And what I loved about him was that he didn't have me concentrate on that, those waves, those floodwaters. What he had me concentrate on him was him in my picture. So so I'm going to um, title this piece that I'm working on here. The idea behind it is that the sun shines down on us all, right? S-O-N, the sun. And I sort of will put into the sun these like glory rings as I, as I go on. So the sun shines down on these rivers, shines down on these waters, and he tames my storms. They might be big. The storms might be big and the storms might be something that wants to take us out. But the bottom line is this, is that he is bigger and he tames the waters. He tames the storms and he takes these great big problems and he puts us on solid ground. So here, this wave, this, this, this wave that's happening and this wave that is just um, crashing down and wanting to take us out, it, the idea is that that just becomes this, this steady, steady little stream of water through the power and the grace and the and the righteousness and the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. So the printable, um, oh, I loved the printable. So the printable, the idea is that through being a child of God, our inheritance is that we don't have to listen to the din and the voice and the rising chatter of the waves. We literally get to ride above that, ab above the storms, like on a surfboard. He, he literally takes us out of those things, out of those circumstances, gives us a heavenly perspective, get, takes our thoughts away from the storm and looking down at what's going on, shifts our, like it's a chiropractic adjustment, man, takes our head and shifts it right up to the top, to the heavenlies and says, fixate right here on me. And the storm won't even touch you. You will walk on water. You will surf above the breakers. You will surf above. You will ride on the things that were meant to destroy you. I walk in victory. Therefore, you walk in victory as my child. So I love, love, love <laughs> what he did with Psalm 93 this week. And the, the basic idea between both of the printables is that he tames the storms. He ultimately is in charge. When I first read this psalm, if I'm being honest... I felt the panic of the psalmist. I felt the panic. The floods, the floods, Lord, you see the floods, the floods are rising. The floods are speaking. The floods are, have a physical manifestation. The floods, the floods, the floods. And, and I, I focused on the floods. And he so clearly said, don't focus on the floods, focus on me. Don't focus on the things that surround you and want to take you out. Focus on me. So that sun is the biggest thing in the picture. The sun is the biggest thing in the picture, and that tame water is the second biggest thing. And the wave, you know what, that's just kind of the middle stuff. The wave is the middle stuff that we don't have to, it's not our beginning and it's not our end. It's just the middle stuff. Compromise is our middle. So, um... So that's what I have for this week. I loved this. Oh, I know I say that every single week. But you know, that's what it is to be in a relationship with him. That, oh, it's such a fresh conversation. You know, the Bible is such a fresh conversation. It is, a, it's an adventure. Every time you open it, it's, it's just an adventure and an, an, an invitation into a conversation. It doesn't matter where you are on your faith journey. It just doesn't matter where you are in your faith journey. When you open it up, it's an adventure. So um, I had fun adventuring with the Lord this week. So um, I am just popping in a little bit of color here with um, my watercolor markers, just making it stand out a little bit. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Um, I think I said in my last video that I have, I got some of these Arteza markers and I don't know, I'm not, I'm not such a fan right now of them. They've got um, 
a true brush on them with filaments that can the, the filaments can separate and that sort of unnerves me because I want a tip when I'm working in watercolor I like to get my brush or whatever to a tip that is dependable that I know if I put pressure on it this way or that way I can get a bolder line a less bold line and I can't take a f one stray filament that goes off on its own and create its own line so um, I, I like I like a, a material that can that will respond to what I needed to do in a way that I is predictable you know because then I can do things with it so I, I do like the um, Tombow markers better than the Arteza the Artezas are a bit cheaper but um, I, I think if you got the Arteza markers uh, you would have to just get used to them a little bit before you start using them on anything that you know is kind of precious to you so um, so I'm just going to be finishing up my little video here. Um, I do want to mention while we are getting started, um, while I'm finishing up, we're going to be doing a collaboration with um, with Amy Kane Price on um, starting. Well, we'll start in August. So we're going to have a live stream with Amy at the end of the month. Um, I think the last Tuesday of the month, we're going to have a live stream with Amy and kind of introduce the ideas. It will be different than um, any other collaborations I've done before. So I'm excited about it. So make sure that you are um, that you subscribe here or that you're a member over on Facebook so you don't miss a thing. So whenever I do a collaboration, there's always lots of freebies that we give away and lots of um, tips and tricks. It's going to be like little um, teaser alert. It's going to be a mixed media um, a collaboration. So I don't know that we'll necessarily be working in Bibles. We could be working in journals or in um, in uh, canvases, you know, so it's a completely different feel. And another teaser, I created um, a canvas book that I'm going to be working in during the uh, during the collaboration. So I am so excited and you'll be able to join in because the prompts that we have, we will include you guys in and then we'll all get to share what we're doing and what what we did with the prompts. So it's like a color, a texture and a, and a um, verse and we'll figure out what we're, what, what, what did, how did we come up with, a, a, with something on each and every each and every week. So four weeks in August, collaboration with Amy, and I'm so excited about it. So guys, that's all I have for this week. I will see you next week on Psalm 94. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.